Now, South Korea, the U.S., Japan, and China all condemned North Korea's SLBM launch today. Uh, they also urged the North not to take any more action that would further raise tensions in the region. Here's our Chi Myung Gil. South Korea's presidential office of Cheong Wade reacted quickly to North Korea's launch of a ballistic missile from a submarine by convening a National Security Council meeting on Wednesday to formulate a response. The foreign ministry condemned Pyongyang for the launch, a show of the North improving technology and a violation of UN resolutions. North Korea should realize that if it only pursues its nuclear and missile capabilities, it's pursuing its own destruction by bringing about more sanctions and diplomatic isolation. U.S. Pentagon spokesperson Gary Ross said Washington was prepared to defend itself and its allies from any attack or provocations by North Korea. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said this was the first time a North Korean missile has landed in Japan's air defense identification zone calling that a grave threat to Japan's security. I firmly protest against North Korea's unforgivable action in obvious defiance of the UN Security Council resolutions. Japan will deal with it resolutely and in cooperation with the U.S., South Korea and the U.N. Meanwhile, China's foreign ministry called on all sides to refrain from actions that could increase tensions following the launch. The situation on the peninsula is complicated and sensitive. We think that all parties in question should avoid actions that might cause tensions. Everyone has the responsibility to jointly maintain peace and stability in the region. All four countries urged North Korea not to raise tensions further and focus instead on taking concrete steps toward fulfilling its commitments and international obligations. Chim Myung-gil, Arirang News.